even though I knew that the globalists were accelerating their plan for a total global takeover via engineered collapse, it's one thing to know it intellectually, as I've said many times. It is another thing entirely to be witnessing it unfold. And we are seeing just the beginnings of that accelerated collapse uh, taking place right now. Really only one thing can change this peacefully, and that is a uh, awakening across the board, a paradigm shattering understanding by people on the so-called left and right that the larger system is rigged and people have to become aware of how the social engineers are manipulating us, playing us off against each other so that we're busy fighting mindlessly over diversionary issues while the real uh, decisions are being made by the technocrats. Now, on this sixth day of July 2014, we're really going to focus for most of the broadcast about the collapse of the U.S. border. That's a big deal. And it is a high crime and misdemeanor. Uh, it is the president not faithfully executing his oath to protect uh, the country's border. And this is the exact type of thing that we saw uh, begin the impeachment of Richard Milhouse Nixon. So we're going to be discussing all of this and more today. Now, uh, Kit Daniels, uh, one of our great reporters at InfoWars.com, uh, is out of town visiting family. He's not in Austin where this broadcast comes to you from. He's out in the country with his uh, folks. But uh, he's going to drive into town where he can get cell signal at the start of the next hour and do a few segments with us. Because uh, late last week, we got a letter in the mail here at the offices from the Department of the Air Force, from uh, the, the head general of the 502nd Air Base Wing that covers a bunch of bases in San Antonio, saying that they're basically looking at federal prison for Kit Daniels, who said, I'm here for a Nancy Pelosi press conference, and I'm here to try to ask her questions. And uh, they also got some footage uh, of the uh, facility, within the facility, holding the illegal alien kids for a cost of 250 bucks a day. And uh, they're saying that they... They will arrest him if he ever comes back and that they're you know, basically looking at coming after him. Feds threaten journalists with prison of a report on illegal immigration. Now, this broke last Friday. OnlyDrudgeReport.com picked it up. Just giving credit where credit's due. It's pretty big news when they threaten journalists. Already last week, in fact, guys, I forgot it. Will you print it for me? Already last week, uh, back last Monday, a member of Congress, we, we learned, for three weeks have been trying to get into this same base and others. And a federal judge ruled, no, you can't go on the base to see what's going on. This isn't like some secret base with nukes. When Kit Daniels went on the base, they were at, it was open because they had a graduation uh, going on there separately. Just the separate area fenced off with the illegals is off limits. But a congressman has been barred access to any of it. So again, congressman barred uh, from the facility as well. This illustrates how controlled the system is. And another story that we broke that, that no one covered but Drudge it was finally picked up uh, by the New York Times and by a bunch of other uh, publications like the Daily Caller. Border meltdown. This is three weeks after we broke it. Border meltdown. Obama delivering 290,000 illegals to the U.S. homes and they admit they put them on buses at the border and then just deliver them to wherever they want to be dropped off. We broke that uh, back on June 16th. Drudge carried it on the 17th and 18th. And we'll give you that headline if you want to go look it up and watch the video. And, and I'm just showing how controlled this is. The New York Times reported on it on July 3rd. Amid influx of migrants, Obama is to skip border visit in Texas trip. Our story was caught red-handed. Border Patrol paying to ship illegals deep into U.S. and broke that it was going to their families, who are illegal aliens themselves. Stay with us. General, what do you think about the FBI 
saying that there was a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the Info War to the next level. to deceive and inflame, or enlighten and inspire, the motion picture has no equal. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Alex Jones, your host. Thank you very much for joining us on this Sunday worldwide transmission, the sixth day of July 2014. Again, I'm your host, Alex Jones. We have the news websites, prisonplanet.com, because our planet by the technocrats is being turned into a prison planet. And then, of course, we have infowars.com, the very tip of the spear worldwide in unabashedly wearing our bias of telling the truth and defending freedom on our sleeve. You know, I'm going to be as calm as I can today, and I say that often and rarely am, am able to do it, but I'm going to try my best today because I've got to get to the big picture and then drill down into each facet of it in an attempt to try to raise the alarm for people out there about how serious a situation we're in. And then if we don't get past the uh, political correctness or the political brainwashing, that we are under in this country, it is over. And of course, I'm talking about the fact that for the last three months, according to the president of the Border Patrol Union and the vice president, who we've uh, interviewed both of them, Obama has ordered a completely illegal, unlawful, tyrannical, autocratic opening of the border from Southern California to Texas, the entire 2000 200 mile piece of land. Now, again, it's not like Switzerland borders us, a failed, collapsed country that has had over 100 plus thousand people killed in just the last seven, eight years, literally cannot even field an Olympic team. And even the highly controlled tourist areas are now not safe to go to. And the State Department has to admit you shouldn't go anywhere in Mexico. And Mexico has opened its southern border in the last three months in a concerted effort with the White House. And that's all come out, by the way. But it's not in the big national newspapers, but it's confirmed. We're going to be going over it. Has opened its border with Guatemala. Probably one of the most dangerous countries in the world and one of the few countries in this hemisphere more dangerous long term than Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen. So Central America, South America are now open right through Mexico. And the fact that Obama has been by fiat legalizing all these different illegals when they get here and putting them on welfare as new Democratic voters is only an incentive, obviously, to bring even larger waves in. And this could completely collapse the Southwest. And then there'll be an emergency the federal government can use to basically militarize everything. They have another word for it. It's called martial law. This is a false flag. This is a staged crisis. Obama said we can't let a good crisis go to waste. So did his chief of staff. And he's been saying, 
I will act unilaterally outside of Congress if they don't legalize all the illegals that are here, 30 million at least, because that will fix illegal immigration. Yes, legalize anyone that can get here, and then that will stop more coming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> if we needed skilled workers and if skilled workers weren't being laid off in massive numbers in the U.S., I would be all for unlimited skilled workers coming in. I don't care where you come from, Germany, China, Mexico, wherever it is. But we don't. We're in the middle of a depression slash recession. Inflation's kicking in. Food prices are exploding. And the rest of the world is sinking even faster. And the answer is take on a bunch of single moms with three or four kids into the United States and let the government bypass federal law and flood the states that have got to pay for it and let three, four-time loser criminals from all over the world come here, and then when they catch them, they don't even deport them. I've got the Austin Chronicle current issue here uh, in front of me, uh, the July 4th issue, and it's got an illegal with an American flag with holes cut in it on his face. And it attacks the Travis County Sheriff, this is just in a microcosm example, basically saying it's racist that he deports 13 people a week. And that's the third biggest deportation number of any city in the country. We're a city of over a million people, metro and growing. Tenth largest city in the U.S. I would guess 5,000 illegals show up a week conservatively. I mean, that's a very conservative number. They're only deporting hardcore aggravated felons. And by the way, ICE just turns them loose when he gives them to them. I, I mean, this is a sanctuary city. And the article's like, we're supposed to be a sanctuary city. What are you doing deporting 13 people a day? Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. And Arde Saveda chimes in, you know, that's not a good thing. We need to have trust with these communities. Let's get something straight, folks. People like Robert Rodriguez, who's going to host Obama coming up this week when he goes to three Texas cities but doesn't visit the border, even though the governor's begging him to, aren't saying anything about the coyotes that have killed hundreds of thousands of Mexicans. They're not saying a word about the tyranny in Mexico. No, it's just fashionable and cool because the Ford Foundation and the federal government wants to balkanize this country in North America to promote a type of new modern clan movement, but with Hispanics. And that's what this is, is to, is to basically radicalize Hispanics, break the border, flood North America, and then create a new political system out of that. That's the globalist model to take control. And by the way, I had a top UC uh, Davis professor, Daryl Hamamoto, who's a prestigious professor, uh, sociologist, uh, anthropologist, a uh, political scientist, uh, you know, an expert on the Japanese American internment, saying exactly what I just said. And he worked for the Rockefeller Foundation and has been given awards by him and is basically blowing the whistle. Okay? You can go see the interview from last Thursday on Infowars.com. In fact, I'm going to have that reposted right now on the front page of Infowars.com. They use America's total openness to say it's racist if you don't take unlimited illegals. Oh, and by the way, ICE has now been ordered, according to AP, to not call them illegals. First, don't call them aliens, then don't call them illegals. Every country in the world, by the way, that goes back to Latin. Call someone who's in a country legally a resident alien. It just means not from this area. But it's political correctness. Now you call them unaccompanied children. This is the reality, ladies and gentlemen, and the whole police state set up for the American people. And they sell this idea that, why, if you're not a racist, you need to support Obamacare and turn your guns in. You know, not turning your guns in is racist. The NRA is the new Klan. You've heard that. When the NRA was founded to arm blacks after the Civil War by Christian groups so that the Klan wouldn't kill them. Founded to fight the Klan? You're the clown. Uh, um, you're the clan, according to the clowns over at MSNBC. Freudian slip, they dress in clown outfits. That's what we're dealing with here, just uh, upside-down reality. Do all of you trendies wonder why you can't get jobs or why, they're, why you have three degrees with the colleges but work at McDonald's? Do all of you trendies understand that the, the world is collapsing into a global depression right now and no country in the world has ever opened its borders up to outsiders like this totally dry?